Our today's lecture is about the amino acids degraded to alpha keto glutarate. In today's lectures, I will tell you some questions that can be important for your exams in the VIVA, MCQs, and OSPs. So please carefully listen to these questions and note down, note down the questions and try to answer them. So we start with the lecture. The first question is how many amino acids are degraded to alpha keto glutarate? Here are five. Five amino acids are degraded to alpha keto glutarate. Namely, arginine, number two is proline, number three is glutamine, number four is glutamate, number five is histidine. Now first, we will start with arginine. Arginase enzyme acts on arginine and it is separated into two parts. Urea is formed and it is liberated and it is then excreted into the urine as a waste product. The product of reaction is ornithin. Now question can be asked where does this reaction take place and arginase where does arginase exist and this reaction takes place. Arginase you know is the enzyme of urea cycle and this part of the urea cycle it occurs in the cytoplasm of the liver cells not in the mitochondria so please note this down now this ornithin is converted to glutamate gamma semi aldehyde Ornithine loses its amino group and that amino group is put on alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate. In this reaction, the coenzyme, as we all know, is pyridoxal phosphate. Remember this viva question. This reaction is catalyzed by ornithine delta amino transferase. The enzyme itself explains that the enzyme does not act on alpha carbon. So glutamate semi-aldehyde is formed. Now question can be asked why this enzyme is called ornithine delta amino transferase. Now you are able to answer this. Now there is an other amino acid that can give us glutamate gamma semi aldehyde and that amino acid is proline. Proline is broken down into glutamate gamma semi aldehyde by enzyme proline oxidase. Proline oxidase will cleave proline and it forms glutamate gamma semi aldehyde. Now the question can be asked which enzyme cleaves proline? Now glutamate semi aldehyde gamma semi aldehyde can be converted into glutamate by the enzyme glutamate semi aldehyde dehydrogenase. This enzyme oxidizes semi aldehyde group into a carboxylic group of glutamate 
so that an NADP plus is used and it is converted into NADPH. So this is an oxidation reaction. Now how do we get glutamate from glutamate? Glutamine is hydrolyzed to form glutamate. The amide nitrogen group of glutamine is hydrolyzed to form the carboxylic group of glutamate. The reaction is catalyzed by glutaminase as we remember from the previous lectures. So we get one ammonium ion that goes to the urea cycle. So with this we complete three amino acids that form glutamate that is arginine, proline and glutamine. Glutamine in turn will form alpha ketoglutarate. But first we will come to the other last one, the other amino acid that is histidine. First of all, the amino group and hydrogen is removed as an ammonium ion by the enzyme histidine ammonia lyase. This enzyme can also be called as histidase. This enzyme, when it acts on histidine, it forms urocanate. Urocanate is in turn acted upon by the enzyme urocanate hydratase to get 4 amidazolone 5-propionate. Name the enzyme that acts on urocanate. Now this 4 amidazolone 5-propionate is converted into N4 amino glutamate by the enzyme amidazolone propionase. This enzyme acts on this product to, so we get N for amino glutamate. Now this for amino group is then attached on THF to form N5 for amino THF by the enzyme glutamate formamino transferase. This transfers the formamino group of this product on THF to form N5 for amino THF. Now, by, after this reaction, we get the product that is glutamate. Now the question is which enzymes transfers the formino group on THF to form which product? Now, now glutamate undergoes a dehydrogenase reaction that is catalyzed by the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase. By this reaction, the glutamate is converted into alpha ketoglutarate. One NADPS plus P plus NAD plus is converted into NADPH. So the amino group is removed from glutamate. So we get alpha ketoglutarate. This reaction you remember from your previous lecture on urea cycle and how we transport ammonia in the blood and how these are converted into each other. These are interconvertible according to the condition. So ammonium ion is released that goes into urea cycle and urea is formed that is excreted into urine by the kidneys. So this completes our lecture.
please note down all the questions and answer those questions thank you